Hey, and welcome to your Getting Started Guide with the Penny Arcade inside of ZimWriter. This is gonna be a high-level overview, very short video. I just wanna help you start writing articles using URLs inside of ZimWriter, show you how that's all done, very simple process. So let's just jump in right now. You'll find the Penny Arcade button right here, and we can open it up. You'll notice this menu looks very similar to the Bulk Writer. But before I, I talk about this menu and the stuff in here, I'm gonna close it and talk high level, talk about use case right now. There's a lot of different ways to write content inside of ZimWriter. We've already had a lesson on using the one-click writer, the bulk writer, and the SEO writer. And now we have the Penny Arcade. When are we supposed to use each of these different features? The one-click and the bulk are really great for writing informational types of articles, whether it's listicles or just general how-to guides. The one-click and the bulk writer are ideal for those situations. Now, the caveat is, in general, it's not going to allow you to specify your different outline, your different H2s, your H3s, your H4s. You can't really do that with the bulk writer very easily. But the SEO writer allows you to do just that. You can develop your entire outline exactly how you want it. In addition, you can also provide information that the AI would not normally know about inside of the different background sections for the SEO writer. The Penny Arcade is completely different though. The Penny Arcade does not allow you to provide titles for articles. So you put the title for the article inside of the one click or the bulk, inside of the Penny Arcade, you're gonna put URLs. So we have the Penny Arcade right here and I have three different URLs. I don't know if you can see that, so I'll open up this text file over here. And there's these are the three URLs I pasted in here. So we have one URL to my site, what was it called? And here's the article we're gonna rewrite, top five places in Mumbai for cultural experiences. We have a link to an Amazon product. This is a microphone. We're gonna write a review on this just by pasting the URL. And then we have a link to YouTube where we're actually gonna have the AI read the transcript from this YouTube video and write an entire blog post based on that transcript. Really powerful stuff. Now, in general, to rewrite content from a URL, you don't need Scrape Owl. And we haven't talked about Scrape Owl yet, but it's, Think of it like a proxy. It allows you to, to mask your IP and bypass different blockers, different ad blockers and whatnot, and rewrite content from sites that you would not normally be able to. 99% of the time, you don't need uh, that feature. You can just use your own personal IP. But to rewrite content from a URL like Amazon or rewrite content from a URL like YouTube, you'd need that Scrape Owl account. We'll talk about that later. The long and short of it is, Scrape Owl is basically five bucks a month, and that's they have different tiered plans, but 99% of all Zoom writers can get away with a $5 a month plan. It's completely optional though. If you don't wanna scrape YouTube, you don't wanna scrape Amazon, you don't wanna scrape Google, you don't even need that. So completely optional, very, very powerful though if you do decide to get it. So I've put the three URLs inside of here, I've configured some options, and then I'd press Start Penny Arcade. It will say we found three different URLs to write about. Now I did write all of the articles. I had the AI write them all before the beginning of the video. And here's the results. So this is the top five places in Mumbai. Now I did create Word documents for each of these by, I've showed you this in the previous lesson, but this all docs converter, this link right here, where you can drag and drop the ZimWriter text files right into it. It will create that Word document that's really easy to read. You don't have to do that if you're just uploading the stuff directly to WordPress, but if you are gonna edit this outside of ZimWriter, Creating that Word document is very convenient. So here is the article, top five places in Mumbai. Now we used GPT 3.5, it's the least expensive model. This cost us four pennies to rewrite this article. Now when we say rewrite, it's not spinning the content and you're not gonna get the identical number of subheadings. What ZimWriter is basically doing is summarizing this article and then writing a new article based on that summary. So there will be some overlap, but it's gonna be an entirely new article. Obviously check for plagiarism, but a lot of times it's completely unique. There's no plagiarism at all, just some similarities. But obviously check all that stuff if you start rewriting competitor content. So we have top, top five places in Mumbai. We have some different subheadings in here, some different lists, really cool. The next article is our microphone review. So we put this Amazon URL into the Penny Arcade and it wrote this review for us. This review cost us two pennies right here. So if you're searching for the sonic equivalent of a crisp, clear mountain stream to elevate your content creation, the Blue Snowball Ice Microphone might just be the answer. That's pretty cool. So we have this really cool review right here, some bullet points, some frequently asked questions, all kinds of cool stuff. 
cost us two pennies. And finally, we have our YouTube video that we summarized and wrote an article about. This cost us two and a half pennies. And here is the article. Again, the video was about where is the war in Ukraine heading? The Ukraine-Russian conflict has reached a critical juncture marked by a prolonged stalemate at the front lines. The recent surge in Russian aerial attacks, blah, blah, blah. What's cool about this is when you're rewriting stuff from the internet, it's going to be very factually accurate if that stuff from the internet is also factually accurate. So it's a great way to, if the AI doesn't know about something, to write accurately using those facts from the original article. And this is extremely powerful too. You might have a, a site, a YouTube site with a hundred or a thousand different videos. You can rewrite all those and turn those into a blog in no time at all. Extremely powerful stuff. Hey, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, drop a comment down below, join the Facebook group. Otherwise, good luck with your content generation, and I hope to see you in the next lesson.